guys, it's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. It is about 11.45. I'm a little late getting started this morning because I have to use my oven and you know I don't like to use it when it starts getting later because it's so hot here in Texas. Anyway, but has anybody been craving pizza since you've been on keto? Well, we are going to make a chicken pizza crust, okay? Yes, we're going to use ground chicken for the crust. So I'm gonna get, I've got all my ingredients here ready. I've got the oven preheating to 400. Um, I am gonna go ahead and put the um, directions and stuff. I will go ahead and put it down in, um, you know, down below. But anyway, I've, I, I'm gonna do half the pizza with like pepperoni and the other half is gonna be tomato basil. But this is the first time I'm trying the chicken pizza crust. I've used, you know, I've done the fathead pizza and things like that, um, that kind of crust. But I've never done it with the ground chicken, so it's going to be a first for both you and me. I'm looking a little rough this morning. I just got back. I was gone about an hour and a half looking for two pit bulls that a lady lost, and I had no luck. I went to three different neighborhoods, and, you know, I, there's nothing more I can do. There, but there's two of them. One of them is her service dog. The other one is still a puppy. And somehow last night they got out. Um... I guess the, the dogs had just been put out to, and then they were eating. And then when the sun went out and let them back in, they were gone. I just don't want them to get stolen or God forbid hit by a car. <clears throat> but anyway, I was out for like an hour and a half looking for them. Like, no, there's nothing more I could do. So anyway, now that's why I'm back and we're going to go ahead and get this made. So I'm going to bring you down here and show you what we're going to mix together for the crust. Okay, I've got my bowl here, and I got this, it was on sale 25% off today. What's, to, what's today's date? Oh, that's because tomorrow is the expiration date on it, or the date they take it off the shelves, I guess, the 27th. All right, so I'm going to, it's a little over a pound of ground beef here, or ground beef, I'm sorry, ground chicken. And I need to get a bag for this because I'm not putting that in my trash can. You know how that smells. Wash my hands here. Okay. And I am going to add to that a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to also add a third of a cup of mozzarella cheese. That's a third of a cup of that. Okay, so we've got that in there. <clears throat> One teaspoon of garlic salt. Not powder this time. This is garlic salt. And then I am going to put some oregano, which I'm going to have to open my new one I just got. There's my four and a half. So let's get this one open real quick. Put one, two teaspoons of that in there. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I was gonna say, where's my top, man? Oh, that's not the right one. Wait. Oh, there we go. This one's garbage. Okay, so I have that in there now, and I'm gonna put some black pepper. As much or, or as little as you'd like, I am going to get to a fork. Mix it up a little bit this way. I know I, I like to use my hands, but the chicken, I don't know, ground chicken, ground turkey stuff has a weird feeling to me. So let me get some of this stuff incorporated in it. Then I can stick my hands in there because I don't like the weird feeling of it. All right, we're going to get this mixed up real good. Okay, I'm getting it. Well combined here, okay? Okay, and it's a little bit sticky, but I'm going to uh, go ahead and get it on the pan over here. I'm going to bring that over okay, to I just you. got that bowl out of the way. I, and I do have, this is a pizza stone that I use, but it said to put parchment paper. So I've got parchment paper. I sprayed it with a little bit of pan spray, and now I am going to... Put this 
make a thin layer. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Give me one second. Okay, I got a second sheet of parchment paper here. And I am going to spray it as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it over top of the chicken mixture. And I am going to get a rolling pin. Because that was a little bit too sticky for my hands. And I don't like that. Okay, so now I've got it over here and I'm just gonna roll it out. And you wanna get it to a, you know, a thin crust. I think I'm gonna have a weird shaped crust because I don't know how to make it round. This is just too much. So I think what I'm going to do, this is kind of big. I'm going to take some of this out, you guys. Put it there. And then we're going to start over with this one here. Okay, we're going to have it kind of round already. There, now it's a little smaller. Now I think it'll work a little bit better. I'm telling you, I bring you guys along with me because you guys are testers just like I am. I haven't done this before, so we're just going to see how it works, you know? Because I don't know either. All right, let's see. See there? Look at that. Take half of that mixture. The other one, man, that one's going to be a big pizza crust. I guess I don't need it that big. It's just me, you know? y'all were coming over or something, we could share it, but you know. But definitely use the parchment paper because it keeps it from sticking. And then definitely spray it with Pam while you're working with it. For me, pizza doesn't have to be completely round as far as I'm concerned, you know? Put that on the stone real good here. I don't want, I don't want to hang it off too much, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, guys, well, I've got it all rolled out here pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the oven just beeped at me, so it is preheated to 400 degrees. And I am going to now put this in there, and we're going to bake this for 20 minutes. All right, let me set the kitchen timer. All right, we're going to let that bake, and then when we come back, we'll go ahead and put some toppings on and put it back in the oven. Okay, guys, so while we're waiting for the chicken um, pizza crust to still cook, I am going to go ahead and make, an, uh, we have to have a dessert, right? So I'm going to make another one of my 90-second... But this time, it's not going to be 90 second bread, 90 second cinnamon roll. It's going to be a 90 second cake. So what I'm going to do, and basically it is the same way as I make the, the cinnamon roll, the, you know, the 90 second bread. It's the same thing. Almost everything's the same except you just change some of the ingredients for the flavor. So what do you guys would like? What are you guys wanting? Well, guess what I am wanting? I am going to make a banana nut Y'all ready for this? All right. Let's bring you down here and let's get started. Okay, guys, I got everything here. So we're going to start with our, our almond flour. And you know what that is. Three tablespoons. One. Two. Three. Okay, we're going to do one tablespoon of coconut oil or you can put one tablespoon of butter, whichever you prefer. 
I'm going to use the coconut oil. And then I am going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. To that, I am going to, of course, do a little cinnamon. And to that, I am going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to add about 10, 10 to 15 drops of banana extract. Okay. And I am going to add my egg. I use the extra large eggs. I just like it. I like the way it kind of turns out better. So I've got that in there. And of course, you guys know I always put my pinch of salt. Let me get here. I forgot to get this, my sweetener, before I stuck it in the oil, huh? All right, so you know how we do this? I do one heaping, heaping. Um, that's a little bit too much. One heaping tablespoon. You guys, just FYI, if you have animals, I think I have said this before, but I'm not sure, and I'm going to say it again, and I will continue to say it. This here contains urethritol, urethritol okay? Um, and it does, in and all the swerves, or any, any other ones that you use that contain urethritol, do not, if it spills on the floor, get it up. Do not make this and give your dogs a bite of it. Urethritol is deadly to dogs. Deadly. Just mix that up real good. You know the texture, guys. You know the texture. Okay. Now we're going to stick this in the microwave for 90 seconds. Okay, and when that comes out, we're going to give it a little taste test. How do you make banana nut bread and forget to put the nuts in it? So I've got some walnuts here, some pieces and halves, and I'm just going to put a little bit in there. You can't have banana nut bread without the nuts, unless you're in my house, I guess. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get this mess cleaned up a little bit, you guys, and then we'll be okay, back. guys, I just took it out of the oven, or the microwave, and I'm going to flip it out. Let's flip it back this way. It's prettier on top. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Let me soak that. Okay, now here it is, the banana nut bread, and if you wanted to, I bought some of this, and this is sugar-free. Uh, vanilla frosting. You can use it. You don't have to. You can make your own cream cheese frosting if you'd like. I guess I should have let it sit out a little bit. But maybe I'll... Well, it's, gonna, it's a little bit too hard to spread, you know what I mean? I don't want to tear it all apart. Anyway, let me see if I can get this spread over a little bit better. Okay, guys, I, I was able to spread it out a little bit more. So it looks really good, doesn't it? All right, now we're going to go ahead and just cut us a piece off of here. Looks good. And we're going to give it a little... I got a walnut in there. You can really taste that banana. Oh, it's so good. I put, I think I put 15 drops in mine. The texture is amazing. You guys, it tastes just like banana bread. The kind that you're going to be getting at Christmas time, except this one right here is keto friendly, you guys. Oh my God, this is so good, you guys. So, 
with this recipe, especially my dessert, with this recipe, with the 90 second, you can make the bread, you can make the cinnamon roll as we did on the, my last video, but take um, like the extracts. I mean, you've got vanilla extracts, you've got rum, rum cake. Um, you've got butter. You've got uh, all the different flavors there are. You can do it. Put it in here just like I did with the banana and make whatever you want. And it's a single serving for yourself. Or you can make it into two servings if you don't want to eat that whole thing. Because it makes a pretty good size. But like I said, get a cup, you know, a mug that's round like mine is. You know, those skinny ones that are tall. I don't want my cake long and tall. I want it like this. But you guys, this is delicious. This is keto. This is going to help you stay into ketosis instead of eating all that other sugary stuff. Um, don't overdo it, of course, because it does have this sweetener in there, and you don't want to overdo anything um, because it can still kick you out of ketosis. But in moderation, a little bit goes a long way. All right, guys. Well, the, the chicken um, pizza crust is almost done, so when that goes off, I'm going to bring you back, and we're going to go ahead and get that topped and back in the oven and take a bite of that. All right, you guys, I just took it out of the oven. It looks it looks a little cool, but it's, the texture is what's a little bit weird to me, though, but we're still going to try it. Now, what I did in here, I cleaned out my banana nut bread stuff. So in here, I put a little bit of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, a, a tea, a, a pinch of salt and then I put a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. I heated it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this over the top. This is just like a little white sauce. I was going to make a red sauce and I decided I just wanted to do white. White goes with um, tomato basil anyway. Red goes with the pepperoni but you know we're going to use the white. So we're going to put this. And the reason you just heard my oven again is because I just turned up um, the heat to 425 to rebake this once I got all the toppings on it. Okay, so I put that just all over the bottom there. All right, we're going to take this mozzarella cheese. And this is going to go all over. Okay. Now we're going to put some tomato slices on this side and I will put some pepperoni on the other side for those of you that don't like the tomato basil. I'm making this one just for you on this side, but your side is smaller because I like the other one. Okay. All right. I love cooking with you guys. I really do. All right, now we're going to put that mozzarella cheese over it. Boy, I tell you what, this stuff better be good because I, if I'm wasting all this mozzarella cheese, I'm going to be so mad. Mm -hmm. I want it to melt right over those tomatoes and just all in there like that. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick my basil. I'm just going to break it by hand like this. That's enough of that. And I am going to take a little bit more oregano and just sprig a little bit over the top. Oregano is very powerful, so you don't need a whole lot. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take this now and I'm going to stick it back on the baking, uh, the, the cooking stone, the pizza stone I have. I'm going to put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. And just so you know, the other half of the, the chicken mixture that I had, I just went ahead and sealed it real tight, put it in a Ziploc bag, and I put it in the freezer. So next time I wanna make a pizza, I already have that dough ready. I just let it thaw out. I'm gonna roll it out and do it all the same. All right, so I've got that in the oven, you guys. In about 10 minutes, when that is done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna taste, we're gonna take the taste test. I don't know why my words, I talk too fast, and my words come out. That shouldn't come out. All right, guys, I'll be right, right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Well, I took it out of the oven, and I actually let it sit for a little bit so it cooled down a little bit. I took it off the parchment paper, put it just directly onto the stone, and now we're going to go ahead and cut a piece and take a bite. So I'm going to bring you down here with us. Okay. See how pretty it looks? All right, let's give this a little cut. 
cut here. I'm gonna cut, this is hot still, so. Oh my God, are y'all dizzy? Sorry about that. He fell over. All right, sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so of course I'm going to take a piece here with the tomato and basil here, and I wanted to show you I didn't waste the rest of the mozzarella and the tomatoes. I went ahead and made a little mozzarella to, uh, tomato salad right here with a little bit of basil in there, and then we're going to put that pizza here to the side. Let's move this over. Ow, that's still hot. All right. Ready to taste it? Like I said, the texture is a little bit weird to me, but we're going to see how it does. I like my crust to be a little bit crunchier, so there's no crunch there. I'm wondering if next time when I bake it again, take it off the parchment paper, put it directly on the stone, and it'll, and it'll crust up the bottom. I guarantee you that's what I messed up on. That's what I should have done. But overall, the flavor is delicious. Mm. Gives you the sensation of having some pizza. Um, I guarantee you, if I made the red sauce, which if you want to do it with some red sauce on yours, guys, just buy a can, a small can of tomato sauce, okay? Put it in a little pan and heat it up. In that pan, to that sauce, take some oregano. Put some oregano in there. Put a, a, a pinch of salt. Stir it, stir it. Give it a little taste. That's what you want to put on your pizza. That's all that you need is that tomato sauce with the oregano and a pinch of salt. Put that as your, um, for your tomato sauce and then put your ingredients and stuff on there and it'll probably give you more of a sensation of a pizza than the white sauce. But I'm telling you, it's still good. It's going to get the job done. I'm probably just going to eat that one piece for right now. I'm not really that hungry. I think I got overheated. Um, I'm hot. But anyway, the flavor is good. I hope you guys try it. I'm going to try to get the, uh, in, um, the ingredients to it all down. Um, down below so you guys can have all of that and I hope you guys make it try it you know it's keto it's good why not all right guys thank you so much again for coming to my channel each and every day I appreciate you more than you will ever know go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already hit the bell so you're always notified when I am going to make one of these delicious dishes that I either make up or got a recipe for and we're going to try it together Go ahead and comment, like, sh share. You guys, thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, I would not be doing this each and every day. I'm not going to do my way in until Monday, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, but thank you again for coming to my channel. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your Friday, and I hope your weekend is perfect. I will talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day.